back to this uh, module. I hope all of you will. Okay. So here we will have a discussion on the Nayaks of Madurai. So the Nayak rulers of Madurai were very popular, okay, particularly in the 16th and the 17th centuries. Okay, so now we are celebrating the Chitrai Trivula in the month of April and uh, May, okay, only because of uh, these Nayak rulers, okay, on the auspicious of these Nayak rulers. So who are them? Okay, so who are the Nayaks of Madurai? Okay, so we need to know that right. So when it was founded, when the Nayakara system, the so-called Nayakara system was established and who established it? So obviously we know about uh, the Krishna Deva Raya, right? So Krishna Deva Raya was a popular Vijayanagar emperor and the greatest of the Vijayanagar emperors of the Vijayanagar empire. So he ruled uh, the throne between 1509 and 1529 and obviously he was the contemporary of uh, Zayfuddin Muhammad Babur, okay, who was obviously the first Mughal samrat, okay, of India. So he was very particular, okay, to have intact, okay, to keep his empire intact. So uh, the Jayanagar Emperor Krishna Devaraya was very particular to keep his empire intact. So for that reason, okay, he appointed local chieftains, okay, local chieftains or uh, knights, okay, uh, to take care of his. Uh, territories in and around uh, this empire because uh, this capital, Vijayanagar Emperor's capital was obviously Hampi. Okay, it is very difficult for him to rule okay, the entire uh, southern peninsula, the Deccan peninsula from Hampi. So for that reason, okay, he appointed viceroys okay, and uh, they were popularly known as knights. So there were three knights rulers appointed by him, okay, and uh, they were the Nayaks of Madurai, Nayaks of Tanjavur and the Nayaks of Jinji or Senji. Among uh, these three Nayak rulers, okay, Nayaks of Madurai, the Nayak dynasty of Madurai was very popular, okay. So how this system started, that is an interesting story. So initially Nagama Nayak, okay, Nagama Nayak, he was a general, okay, he was a general of, uh, army general of Krishna Devaraya. So he was sent to Madurai to Defend, okay, to defend uh, or to uh, take care of the Madurai territory where uh, the Pandya rulers was a little bit uh, busy, okay, in keeping the empire and keeping the Madurai under their control. To tackle them, okay, to tackle them, uh, they were I asked the Nagama Nayaka. But Nagama Nayaka, instead of uh, uh, protecting the territory, he started ruling as the independent ruler. So to tackle Nagama Nayaka, so they were I asked the Nagama Nayaka. Son, Vishwanatha Nayak. So Vishwanatha Nayak was loyal. Okay, see, for it is interesting to note that Nagama Nayak was not loyal to Krishna Devaraya, and uh, Nagama Nayak's son, okay, Vishwanatha Nayak was very loyal. Okay, was very loyal to Krishna Devaraya. Okay, so even he defeated his father, and uh, obviously he was appointed as the first Nayak ruler of Madurai. Okay, and uh, he ruled from 1529 to 1564 AD. Okay, and he was very popular, okay, Vishwanath Nayak was very popular and uh, he was well assisted by a minister also known as Dalavoy and his name was Aryanatha Mudalaya. Okay, so both Dalavoy, Aryanatha Mudalaya and uh, Nayak, okay, Vishwanath Nayak, they defeated local chieftains, okay, they defeated local chieftains and uh, they expanded the Nayak uh, rule, okay, they expanded the Nayak rule in present day Tamil Nadu. So the Tamil country, see these people were not Tamil rulers, okay, we need to keep that in mind. Nayak rulers were obviously uh, from a Telugu background, okay, they were not Tamil, they were from a Telugu background, okay. So Vishwanath Nayak and uh, he renovated, okay, he renovated the Ramanatha Swami temple at Sri Rangam. Obviously we know, okay, even today uh, Sri Rangam temple, Ramanatha Swami temple is uh, very popular and uh, the deity. Okay, Sri Ranganatha Swami is also very powerful and uh, we also uh, renovated some temples at uh, Tenkasi and uh, even at uh, Kayataru. Okay, it's where under uh, the polygon system. See, uh, it's also need, we also need to note one thing that these Nayak rulers also introduced a system called polygon system, the Palaya Kala system. Nayaks of Madurai divided uh, their territory among 72 Polygons. Okay, so we will uh, discuss it in the later uh, 
uh, videos. Okay, about the polygon system. It's also very very important topic. Okay, so Vijayanagar emperors they divided their territory among the Nayaks and the Nayaks divided their territory among the polygons. So Vishwanath Nayak, as we know, okay, uh, he did a lot. Okay, to the Madurai. And then uh, as we as I said before. Uh, Riyanatha Mudaliya served as his minister and the army general and uh, it is also very very important to note that Riyanatha Mudaliya assisted even uh, uh, Vishwanatha Nayak's son and uh, his grandson okay, in later days. Okay. So Vishwanatha Nayak was uh, followed by Krishnapa Nayak who ruled between 1564 and uh, 1572 AD. Okay. And obviously we know he was the son of Vishwanatha Nayak. Okay. He was the Son of Vishwanath Nayak. During the, this period, the Polygars and the, the Muslims revolted against uh, the Nayak rule, but the revolt were put down by Dalawai Arinath Mudaliya. Okay, so uh, Dalawai Arinath Mudaliya supported father Vishwanath Nayak as well as son Krishnapa Nayak. So we need to keep that in mind. He developed uh, the Krishnapuram temple, which was one of the best example. Okay, of the Nayak style of architecture. So, and he also renovated and built some temples in and around uh, Madhubai city. So, uh, these people, okay, like for example, the South Indian temple architecture is very popular. Okay, the trend was started by the Pallavas, okay, Pallavas of Kanchipuram, okay, around the uh, 7th century, then uh, Cholas, they took it on a different level, and then the Pandyas, the Sikkim Pandyan Empire, okay, took it on the next level, and then obviously the Nayak rulers. You okay. see, we can't simply confine ourselves uh, with the uh, Vijayanagar architecture. See, Vijayanagar rulers, they ruled in uh, Tamil Nadu through the Nayaks. So, okay. They never ruled directly. The Vijayanagar emperor, so there is no direct Vijayanagar rule okay, in Tamil Nadu. See, so, they ruled indirectly through these Nayak rulers. So, Krishnapa Nayak was succeeded by Veerappa Nayak. Okay, so Krishnapa Nayak was succeeded by Virapa Nayak. Obviously, Virapa Nayak was also a powerful ruler. Okay, like his uh, father, Krishnapa Nayak. He was the eldest son of Krishnapa Nayak. So, Virapa Nayak, he renovated the temple at uh, Chidambaram in a tragic temple at Chidambaram, and some improvements were also made for Madurai Meenakshama temple. So, Virapa Nayak also built okay, a fort at Arpukote and renovated the Tirchi fort. Okay. So these people, they had the capital at uh, Trichy initially. So we will discuss when we discuss about uh, Thirumalai Nayak, how Thirumalai Nayak was uh, efficient in uh, transferring the capital from Trichy to Madurai. So after the demise of uh, Veerappa Nayak, okay, the intruders like uh, Muttu Krishnapa Nayak, Muttu Veerappa Nayak, Krishnapa Nayak second, they ruled for few years. Okay. So then in uh, 1623, okay, Thirumalai Nayak, our hero, okay, he became the Nayak of Madurai and as I said before, we transferred the capital from uh, Tirchi to Madurai. Okay, and he is one of the finest Nayaks of uh, Madurai. Okay, he defeated Samara Raja Uraya, okay, of Mysore Kingdom. Okay, the Uraya of Mysore was defeated by uh, Nayak of Madurai, Thirumalai Nayak, and he freed himself from the sovereignty of Vijayanagar Emperor. Okay, he became independent. Thirumalai Nayak became independent and uh, he is known for building. Uh, the Pakulam, okay, the Pudumandabam, the Rajagopuram of Meenakshaman temple and then the Thirumalai Nayak palace. See, Thirumalai Nayak palace is very famous. Obviously, it's one of the best examples, okay, of the Nayak style of architecture, okay. Then, uh, we also need to focus on the back of Moses, okay. So, Thirumalai Nayak defeated Kandira Vanarasa Nayak of Dindukal, okay, at Dindukal. Okay, then uh, the barbarian treatments were given for the officers, okay, the Nayak forces, okay, the Nayak, Trimley Nayak forces, they cut off the lips, upper lips and the noses of the war prisoners. For that reason, okay, this battle is known as Battle of Moses, okay, when uh, Trimley Nayak forces defeated Kandira Manarasa Nayak of Dindikal, okay. So, after the demise of uh, Trimley Nayak in 1659, okay, so the Nayaks of Madurai dynasty went into a debacle and obviously in the end of the 17th century okay knights of madurai they eclipsed okay from the pages of history so thank you for watching this uh, model my dear uh, friends and uh, students okay if you really 
like this video please click on the like button and obviously give me some comments for informants and uh, share this video as much as possible and subscribe to our channel the history of so we are back finally we are back okay thank you